Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is part 3 of my apple catching game video on Scratch. And like I said in my other video, we're gonna be doing points and obstacles in this. So, like, an obstacle can be like there's gonna be bombs which you have to try and avoid catching, and the points is yeah. So, let's start with the points and so here we are in apple in the apple sprite so first of all let's create a new variable called points and now then change points by one so if we try that out now one two three four five six yeah, I'll keep on going like that. So that was pretty simple. And this is a bit too easy, so we're gonna have to increase the speed. This, so we can just simply change the y by minus 15. So if we do it again, it'll be like much faster. And then you can change the speed however you like and one more thing we want to do is that once the game starts again the points should go back to zero so to do that just it's going to just in the when green flag clicked you just go to set my set points to zero so yeah so it goes back to zero every time and now like I said, now we need to add the bomb. So, go into your sprite and get the ball. And in this ball, you can change the costume. Like, you can delete these ones because we don't need them. But just change this by simply filling black in here. We're gonna be adding similar code to it, so just like this, so you can just drag it and put it in there, and then we just need to change it up a bit. So we have when when the green arrow click set points to zero, it doesn't matter, we can just get rid of this. Go there, then hide wait 1.5 seconds. Then, yeah, repeat, clean, create clone, and then one more thing you can do is you can put a random, so pick random between 1 to 4 seconds, yeah, and then we want to make, every time you touch the bomb, it's minus 1 point, so there we go, and let's try it out. Yep, I accidentally touched the bomb. Now, as you can see, the bombs, they're just going there. So, that's because we forgot the last code. When I start as a clone forever, hide if touching that. So, yeah. I know we can see this, but, yeah, it's fine. But if we want, I can just change this to, instead of minus 44, just do, like, 300. Yeah, so it's out of sight. One more change that we can do to this is that every time you catch an apple, the time increases by like half a second. So, so we're gonna go here. You can just do. Oh, let's stop this for a sec. So, repeat until touching color. Then change points and change timer by 0.5. So now. Oh, increase every time you touch 28.5 or if you want to make it even more realistic you can do change it by 0.1 second every 0.1 second so yeah and it's up to you whatever you want to do it like that way
And the last thing I'm just going to quickly change is this. I'm going to put this as 300 as well. So it's out of the way. And that's perfect. And there we have it guys, that's our apple catching game in scratch, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below, and that's it for today.